Welcome to Insightful Gaming. Today, we're unveiling a jaw-dropping void build for Titans that will empower you to annihilate waves of adversaries or obliterate champions and bosses in any difficulty, while maintaining a perfect balance of defense for you and your allies. This build showcases the unparalleled Void Titan Exotic Sitten's Ramparts. Its exotic perk Assault Barricade allows you to shoot through your towering barricade, which has reduced health and duration. However, with our setup, we will be able to cast barricade back to back allowing us to shoot through it. With this build, enjoy never-ending overshields, constant self-healing, and a damage combo that clears rooms and demolishes champions. This gameplay is from endgame activities, and the build performs great in all hard content. Before we dive into the nitty-gritty, show your support by hitting that like button, sharing your thoughts in the comments, and subscribing to our channel for the latest and greatest content. Additionally, a shout-out to our close-knit community that theory crafts many of these builds and actively discusses them in our Destiny Discord. If you're enthusiastic about theory crafting and want to share your exciting build ideas, join our ever-growing Destiny Discord community, link in the description below. A special thanks to the mastermind behind this build, credited in an honorable mention below. Thank you again. Now, let's immerse ourselves in this phenomenal build. Don't forget, all Season 20 builds can be found in my YouTube library link below. Prepare to be amazed by the mind-blowing abilities that transform this build into an unstoppable force. First, let's talk about Ward of Dawn. This incredible skill generates an impenetrable bubble, safeguarding you and your teammates. Venture inside Ward of Dawn and receive a temporary weapon damage buff and overshields for your entire squad. This super is a game changer and with the orb extravaganza we've got going, you can trigger it frequently to maintain dominance. Next, we have our selected grenade, the Vortex Grenade. This exceptional grenade summons a vortex that pulls enemies inward, inflicting continuous damage to those caught in its grasp. It's perfect for crowd control, giving you an excellent chance to eliminate multiple foes simultaneously. For mobility, we're using Strafe Lift, but feel free to swap it out with your preferred option. Lastly, we're wielding Shield Throw. Launch your Void Shield at a target, allowing it to ricochet off targets and surfaces while granting overshields for each hit. Now, let's explore the arsenal that takes this build to unparalleled heights. We need a primary weapon that dishes out overshields like nobody's business. Keep an eye out for weapons boasting the Repulsor Brace perk. This remarkable perk bestows overshields upon defeating enemies, providing 45 HP shield for a whole 8 seconds, which is further amplified by our reliable Echo of Persistence Fragment. For our build, we'll be rocking the new legendary submachine gun in the title. It features two Repulsor Brace perks. Defeating a Void debuff target grants an overshield. It also comes with Envious Assassin, quickly eliminating targets with other weapons before drawing this one transfers ammo to the magazine from reserves. This effect can overflow the magazine based on the number of targets defeated. Other top-tier weapons with the Repulsor perk include the Fantastic Veals X complete with the Golden Tricorn perk and my personal favorite, Hollow Denial. My Hollow Denial comes outfitted with Repulsor Brace and Lend from Gold ensuring I never run out of ammo. Trust me, with Hollow Denial, you'll never run out of overshields and our seasonal perks combined with Lend from Gold will keep the heavy ammo flowing generously. For the Thrill Seekers, give Unforgiven a shot which can be equipped with Demolitionist and Repulsor Brace. The star of the show and build revolves around our exotic, the Sitten's Ramparts. It comes with an exotic perk where you and your allies can shoot through your towering barricade. That being said, all of our fragments, aspects, and armor mods are tailored to benefit the towering barricade. Let's talk about our rotation before we go into all of our synergies. We will always start the fight by throwing our grenade, casting our class ability barricade, and into melee if there are any red bar enemies around you. In parallel, continue using your weapons to maw down enemies. Always make sure that all of your abilities are on cooldown, as this will help you maximize the synergizes in your build. That being said, let's understand what happens when you use each ability. First, when you cast your grenade, a couple of things happen. One, thanks to our controlled demolition ability, we make our targets volatile. In addition, we also weaken our targets, thanks to our fragment echo of undermining. Finally, damaging your targets with your grenade will also grant you with melee energy. Next, when you use your melee ability, a couple of things will happen. First, your melee it will hurl your Void Shield towards a target and after ricochet off targets and surfaces, it will grant you with Void Over Shields after each hit. Now let's talk about what happens with all these buffs and effects and how they play a role in the build. When you defeat volatile targets, you will spawn Void Breaches and you will also spread your volatile effects to nearby targets making them volatile also. Not to mention, while you have the Over Shields, you will also get 400% Grenade Regeneration all thanks to our offensive bulwark aspect. 
You can further maintain your overshields by using your primary weapon, which comes with Repulsor Brace perk, giving you overshields after getting kills from them. Now, let's dive into our aspects. First, let's take a look at controlled demolition. Striking a target with a void ability or volatile explosion renders them volatile. Inflicting further damage to a volatile target causes them to explode, granting health to you and nearby allies when volatile targets detonate near you. This game-changing aspect offers a wealth of healing, as all your weapons are void and you'll maintain the volatile effect on them. Each time they die, you and your allies receive free healing. Some may argue in favor of Bastion, but I prefer not to use it, as we gain ample defense through casting multiple towering barricades and acquiring numerous overshields from our Repulsor Brace perk and shield throws. Additionally, Bastion only provides one fragment slot. Perhaps in Season 21, it will improve when Bastion gets two fragment slots. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Next, we'll unveil the second part of this dynamic duo offensive bulwark. This potent aspect kicks in when you have an overshield or are standing inside your Ward of Dawn. It boosts your grenade regeneration by an incredible 400% and augments your melee range and damage. The most awe-inspiring aspect is that with our setup, we'll have an overshield at all times. Now let's talk about fragments. We're employing Echo of Undermining which weakens your targets, making them 20% more vulnerable to damage. We also have Echo of Persistence, guaranteeing continuous devour and overshields. Next, we're using Echo of Starvation where picking up a Void Breach or Orb of Power grants devour. Lastly, we're incorporating Echo of Cessation primarily for the Void Breaches that can drop after defeating targets afflicted by the Volatile Effect. As an alternative, you can run Echo of Provision for an infinite supply of melee energy when damaging targets with your grenades. Venturing into the realm of armor mods, let's examine each piece and its respective enhancements. Kicking off with the helmet, we're also fitting two ashes to assets, granting bonus super energy on grenade kills, and topping it off with a heavy ammo finder mod to boost the drop chance of heavy ammo upon kills. Proceeding to the gloves, we're equipping Focusing Strike, which grants class ability energy when you deal damage with a melee attack. Next, we're using Bolstering Detonation, which provides class ability energy when you inflict damage with your grenade. Finally, we're also incorporating the Grenade Kickstart mod that restores grenade energy when your grenade energy is fully expended. This will help us sustain our grenades by refilling our class ability energy after consuming our grenade energy. For the chest piece, feel free to select your favorite defensive mods. Personally, I choose Harmonic Resistance, Concussive Dampener, and Void Resistance. Alternatively, you can use one Charge Up mod, which increases the maximum number of armor charge stacks you can carry. Moving on to the boots, we're donning an Innervation mod, which lessens grenade cooldown each time you pick up an Orb of Power. We're also wearing an Invigorating mod, reducing melee cooldown when collecting Orbs of Power, and using Stacks on Stacks to grant an extra stack of armor charge, synergizing with the Melee Kickstart mod. Finally, on our Titan Mark, we're showcasing a Bomber mod that trims grenade cooldown when using your class ability. To complete the ensemble, we're rocking the Reaper mod to generate more orbs of power and the Outreach mod, decreasing melee cooldown when employing your class ability. Let's dive into our seasonal mods now. In the first row, it's all about customizing your selection to your preferred weapon type. Submachine gun enthusiasts can rejoice with the Submachine Overload mod, while those who prefer Scout Rifles will love the Unstoppable Scout Rifle mod. For bow wielders, the Overlord mod is a perfect fit. And for taking down barrier champions, the anti-barrier pulse rifle and sidearm mod is the way to go. But your subclass can also give you the power to defeat champions. With the Arc subclass, use the blind or blinding aspects to stun unstoppable champions. With solar subclass, ignition damage will do the trick. With stasis subclass, shattered damage stops them in their tracks. And with the strand subclass, the Suspend Aspect suspends unstoppable champions, stunning them in the process. And the best part. These mods are passive and don't require any slotting. As we move on to the second row of seasonal mods, check out the Multi-Siphon mod, which combines the effects of the Strand, Solar, and Void Siphon mods in your helmet. This is particularly useful if you use different energy weapons and want to generate orbs with both types of weapons. The next four mods reduce the energy costs of your armor mods that affect your Solar, Strand, Void weapons, and grenades. The Solar Surge mod is a standout choice, slashing the energy cost of each mod from 3 to 1. In the third row, the Solar Surge mod is a must-have, as collecting Fire Sprites grants you armor charge. To move to the next tier, choose two more perks, such as Shatter Orbs, which creates an orb of power upon breaking a shield with matching damage type. And for high-level PvE content, 
Flare Up is a formidable choice for Firebolt Grenade users, granting more Scorch stacks and spawning Fire Sprite near damaged enemies. In the fourth row, the must-have mod is Bricks from Beyond, which eliminates the need for Heavy Ammo Finder mods by granting Heavy Ammo for you and your allies upon defeating powerful combatants with a Void Weapon. Finally, in the fifth row if you want to help your Fire Team, the Prismatic Transfer mod is a great choice, granting a bonus to weapon damage for each member of your fire team with a different subclass damage type when you cast your super. In a nutshell, this Void Titan build is an unstoppable juggernaut, tailored for any Destiny activity you can imagine. Every ability, aspect, fragment, and armor mod we've chosen harmonizes beautifully to forge a lethal concoction that obliterates foes in a blaze of glory. If this build has stoked your excitement and proven helpful, be sure to smash that like button, drop a comment below, and subscribe to our channel for even more thrilling builds and electrifying gaming content. Thanks for tuning in, and here's to a fantastic week ahead.